What's up, YouTube? Got another unboxing video here. It's going to be a Crossman F4 that I got off of eBay. Uh, I got it cheap. It's refurbished. It was $60, I think, shipped. It's a brake barrel, 177 caliber, um, 1,000 feet per second, probably with light alloy pellets. But this is going to be the unboxing video for it. Uh, I'd just like to take a second and thank you guys for watching my videos, liking, commenting. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I got some more uh, pistols and rifles coming. Um, so this is just going to be an unboxing, and then I will, you know, I'll shoot it, break it in, and do a, another breakout review on it. Um, or maybe I'll just put it in one video. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So uh, let's get this open. Um, Crossman F4. This is a combo, uh, so it does come with a scope. So that's cool. And, uh, alright, so because it's refurbished, I guess you just get it in this cardboard box. You don't get the actual box that the product came in, so that's a bummer. Here's your little instruction manual, brake barrel. This just looks like a standard instruction manual. Again, this is refurbished, so I don't think it's specific to this gun. Because I don't think they made this gun in 22 or 25. And that's in a different language. This is the scope that it comes with. Let's get that out. And I believe it's a 3x9. Center point comes with caps uh, four by thirty two. Looks nice. It's not a it doesn't have a mill dot reticle or of course. I mean it's a throw in, so but I believe you uh, you need it because this site I believe does not have sights. And then here's this came with a scope. Oops. This is going to be your, how to sight it in. But we should know how to do that by now. I'm guessing those are scope rings. I'm not even going to unbox them. But let's get to the rifle. Alright, get this out of here. Here's, here's the rifle. Um, it's kind of tiny, to be honest with you. Um, give you a quick look here. It's got a rubber butt pad. Doesn't look like anything's adjustable on that. Um, it's synthetic polymer. It's got a stippled handle, skeletonized. Pretty thin. There's the barrel. You see that? Focus. 177. And it's got a little grab handle at the end. Give you a look at the trigger. Your safety. That's metal. Crossman on the bottom. You flip it around here. Again, see no sights on this gun. It is, however, nitro piston. And it's the Crossman Fire F4. I believe it's what it's called. Uh, it's got some good weight to it. Uh, and it does say remanufactured under there because it is a remanufactured or refurbished. Um, so I'm going to get this scope mounted up, and then I'll give you a look to see uh, what it looks like with the scope mounted on. Alright guys, so I got the scope installed uh, on the rifle here. Um, that wasn't too bad. A couple of screws. I even sighted it in. It took like 10 shots to sight it in. I only got about 15 yards in my basement here, so... Um, just initial impressions, uh, shooting-wise. Um, the trigger is kind of sloppy. There is an adjustment for it there, so I'll have to mess with that. Um, if you can see that right there. 
So there is an adjustment for it. You can get in there and um, it kind of just, you pull it. There's no slop and then it kind of clicks. Not, well, it doesn't click, but it feels like it's going to click and release, but it doesn't. And then you can break it. Um, not a lot of recoil. It's not very loud. Um, like I said, I only did about 10 shots. It was quiet. Not a lot of recoil. Felt good. Um, the cocking effort is fairly easy. There's one thing I don't like about it, and there's your safety. Uh, that's off safety. That's in fire. See, forward is fire. Forward fire. Back is safe. Um, so right now it's in fire because I just fired it. Now, when you on a lot of like hot sense, for example, when you, I'll do it here for you if I can. When you break the barrel, that would put it in safe. On this gun, it doesn't, so it's still in fire. Bring it back up. It's live, so it'd be live. You'd have to p physically pull it back to put it on safe. Don't like that. Um, but uh, for $60, I guess you get what you get. Um, I'm going to plink around with it. I'm going to take it up to my buddy's house, do some shooting this weekend, probably. Um not bad I'll do some maybe I'll do some video this weekend of it shooting 60 bucks not bad I've been shooting these Benjamins I got these cheap 7 hot 10 of 750 I don't even know what weight these are they're pretty light though they're small um, that's really all I can think about as far as uh, reviewing the gun it's got some stippling on it weighs about six pounds maybe seven pounds with the scope, maybe actually, yeah, maybe with the scope it's closer to eight. Um, give you another look at it here. It is nitro piston. I did mention that. Um, I think that's all I got on it right now. I'll roll in some extra footage uh, of it shooting and uh, of some groups that I got also. Uh, so I think that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching the unboxing. I'll get some more footage, like I said. Um, just go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Alright guys, just going to do a quick shooting video here. A uh, test. Seven, eight shots or something at a target I got set up. Uh, just to show you the recoil, how it shoots, uh, the performance, how loud it is. Uh, cocking effort. Um, it's cocked right now. It's on safe. Back is safe. Um, don't forget about that. Um, so we'll go ahead and take a shot here. Safety off. And again, uh, it doesn't automatically put it on safe, so you want to push it down to be on safe. And I like to brace it right here in my hip, give it a knock, pull it down, and then brace it with your other hand while you load it. In case that snaps back, you don't want to lose a finger. Up and repeat. Safety off. Not a lot of recoil, safety, not a lot of recoil, um, not that loud. Uh, I had a 25 Hudson, uh, 25 caliber, that thing sounded like a gun going off. Safety off, aim and release. Safety, brace it, load. That's it. We'll do one more. Uh, I like it. For 60 bucks. I'm not upset with the purchase. Um, I wouldn't want to spend 100 on it. I think they refill, retail for 100 120 Um Not worth it. You can get a hot in uh, 95 for that price. So uh, this is it. This is the Crossman C G4 F4. Sorry, excuse me. F4 fire, um, not a bad deal. 177 caliber. Um, go ahead and pick one up if you have a chance. If you have any questions, uh, again, let me know um, and subscribe to my channel. So uh, I got some more. I got a Crossman 1377 pistol still coming, still waiting for that. And I got a another Hotson 95, the great rifles. Um, that's going to be in 22 caliber Vortex. So, um, all right, guys, take care, and I'll see you next time. Hey.
dot dot dot. Looking up, open the park.